Auto Trail Electrical System. All Auto Trail vehicles have both a 12 volt and a 230 volt electrical system. The 12 volt electrical system is supplied by a rechargeable leisure battery that is located in a dedicated battery compartment within the vehicle. The locations of leisure batteries varies from model to model, so please familiarise yourself with the battery location prior to using the vehicle for the first time. The leisure battery is charged either by the vehicle alternator when the engine is running, or by the onboard battery charger when the vehicle is connected to a suitable main supply via the hookup lead supplied with the vehicle. Connecting the main supply also activates the two 30 volt sockets and two 30 volt lights where fitted to a vehicle, as well as various mains appliances. All Auto Trail vehicles utilize a combined power supply unit or PSU that contains the battery charger, 12 volt fuses, mains residual current device or RCD, and miniature circuit breakers, or MCBs. Please familiarise yourself with the location of the PSU unit prior to using the vehicle for the first time. The EC500 power supply unit utilises a battery charger that supplies 12 volt DC power to run the leisure equipment and supply the leisure battery. It also houses the 12 volt DC fuses that protect the various 12 volt circuits and the 230 volt RCD and MCBs that protect the various main circuits. The residual current device is provided to protect the user from a potentially lethal electric shock. The RCD will turn off if a fault occurs on the system. To ensure the RCD is working correctly, the test button should be operated each time the vehicle is connected to the main supply. The miniature circuit breakers operate in a similar way to traditional fuses and are provided to protect the wiring from an overload or short circuit. If an overload occurs, the MCB will switch off the supply. If this occurs, the cause of the fault should be investigated before switching the MCB back on. Details of the MCB ratings and the circuits they protect are detailed in your Auto Trail handbook. These fuses are provided to protect the various 12 volt circuits from an overload or short circuit. If a fuse does blow, the cause of the fault should be investigated before a replacement is fitted. When replacing a fuse, always replace a fuse with the correct value. Never replace with a higher value as this could cause damage to the wiring harness. Details of fuse ratings are given in your Auto Trail handbook and information wallet supplied with your vehicle. The shutdown button is used to turn off the system electronics when they are not required to save battery power. The unit should be turned off when the vehicle is being put into storage or not being used for long periods of time. Before using the system, please ensure that the system shutdown button is in the on position. The power button turns on the leisure power. Press the button once to turn on the 12 volt power. The LED will illuminate. Press the button again to turn off the 12 volt power. The LED will go out. The power button must be in the on position for any of the 12 volt systems to operate. The pump button turns on the 12 volt water pump circuit. Press the button once to turn on the water pump. The LED will illuminate. Press the button again to turn off the pump. The LED will go out. The light button turns on the main internal 12 volt lights. Press the button once to turn on the main lights. The LED will illuminate. Press the button again to turn off the lights. The LED will go out. This button allows you to select which battery is used as the power source for the vehicle, or which battery is being charged by the onboard charging system if connected to the main supply. The control panel will automatically select the leisure battery when the 12 volt system is turned on. The battery select button must be pressed to manually select the vehicle battery. The selected battery will be shown on the EC480 control panel. This light is designed to illuminate when the live and neutral mains input supply have been reversed. If the light illuminates then there is a problem with either the site supply or the cable connecting the supply to your vehicle. Please note that if you choose to use your vehicle with a generator, this could also illuminate the reverse polarity indicator. This is a normal side effect when using some types of generator, 
and does not necessarily indicate a fault. Please refer to your generator handbook for further information. The charger button turns on the internal battery charger that will charge the batteries and provide 12 volt power to the interior of the vehicle. The switch will illuminate when the switch is pushed in and the vehicle is connected to the main supply. The space heater switch will isolate the main supply to the space heater when the vehicle is plugged into a suitable 230 volt supply. Press the button once to turn the supply on. The button will stay in and the button will illuminate. Press the button again to turn the supply off. The light will go out. The water heater switch will isolate the main supply to the water heater when the vehicle is plugged into a suitable 230 volt supply. Press the button once to turn the supply on. The button will stay in and the button will illuminate. Press the button again to turn the supply off and the light will go out. Apart from the changing of fuses and the testing and resetting of the RCD and MCBs, no maintenance is required on the PSU unit. If a problem develops with your unit, please contact your supplying dealer or a qualified electrician.